Hey guys, um, I am here to say hello, and I just wanted to record this video to, I mean, this little clip, I guess, to say to make sure you guys subscribe and drop a thumbs up, so, bye. What is going on guys welcome back to my channel in this week's video I'm going to give you guys nine tips that have helped me start the keto lifestyle I'm also going to talk about my three weeks progress let you guys know how that's going all right tip number one just get started the more you think about things the more you'll talk yourself out of it and you won't even do it so just get started start your journey with keto and I promise you um, you won't regret it and tip number two benchmark make sure you take down all your measurements hop on that scale as much as we all hate getting on that scale get your weight also get a tape measure measure yourself get all your measurements that way you know exactly where you started day one and when you're done through this journey you'll know your progress tip number three prep your home get rid of all that junk all that junk that you have in your house that you eat right now just get rid of it that way it won't be in your home you won't be tempted to grab it and eat it um, you you won't have it staring at you in the face you, it'll just be away from your home prep your home tip number four plan your meals planning your meals is going to make it less likely for you to cheat cheat you'll know exactly what you're going to be eating each day of the week um, look up new recipes stuff that you haven't tried before things you that look good and that you want to try that will help you a lot Tip number five, go shopping. Who doesn't like to go shopping, right? L go shopping for all those ingredients that you need to try those new recipes. And while you're at the store, just look for things that are low carb. Look for snacks that you can have throughout the day. Um, look up uh, condiments, look up dressings that you can have different for your salads. Mix it up a little bit. Tip number six, track your daily progress. Use one of those apps. My favorite app to track my progress is on my fitness pal. Track your weight. Track what you eat on a daily basis. Track how much you exercise. By tracking, if you were to ever mess up, you know exactly where it is that you messed up. Um, and you won't do it, you most likely won't do it a second time because you know where you messed up. Okay, now tip number seven. Tip number seven for me is probably one of the one that I have a hardest time with. Staying motivated. Take it one day at a time. Don't worry if um, your weight or your measurements are staying at a certain spot for a couple of days. Um, losing weight is going to be a long term and you don't want to see short term uh, progress is going up and down. It's going to be long term. Just be patient. Just keep your eyes on the prize. Know exactly where it is, where you want to end up, how you want to look. Because just don't forget at the end of the day, you're, you're reaching for a goal and it's not going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of struggles. But Tip number eight, do your research. Make sure you look up all those things that you need to know. Make sure you look up all the foods you can have, all the foods you can't have. By doing your research, you'll prepare yourself of what's to come. And just, there's different YouTube videos you can watch, different articles you can read online. And they prepare you for the struggles that are gonna come your way. But you'll be prepared, you'll know exactly how to overcome them. And that's very important. And last but not least, tip number nine, don't cheat. This is probably one that I used to struggle with a lot. I used to think, oh, eating one bag of chips, it's not going to do me anything. I'll be fine. Don't cheat. Just stay on track. Focus. Um, you're not doing yourself any favors by cheating. And even if, if you don't, if nobody else knows you cheated, it's, it's not doing anyone any harm except yourself. You're hurting yourself. Just stay on the path. Stay motivated. Um, just eat the right things because if you're if you cheat once you'll be most likely to cheat again and then again and then again and it just becomes a pattern and that's what used to happen to me um but i've learned that not not to cheat not not with keto at least because 
with keto it's so easy to get off of ketosis and cheating one time can harm you a lot and you just have to start from the beginning and then all your struggles all your hard work that you've been doing for one two three four weeks it's just been thrown down the trash because of one meal so don't cheat all right guys those are just a few of the tips that have helped me throughout this journey so far some things that i think that are super important to know um so let me know if you find them useful let me know if you have any tips of your own um i will greatly appreciate any tips that you throw my way all right guys now for my three week update yes it's been three weeks time does fly um let me just say it has not been easy it's been a struggle for sure it's not as hard as the first time because i was a little more prepared this time i knew exactly what was going to come my way i knew the struggles and i knew how to overcome them but yet there were a few new things that i was like whoa like what's going on um, I have officially lost about 12 pounds um, like I said before I don't get too excited with the weight because it just it's gonna fluctuate um, your water into uh, your water it's water weight and all that stuff but um, it's 12 pounds and to me that's a big accomplishment so far I know it's not the end this is just the beginning um, but I'm very excited I've, I'm down 12 pounds and I'm down about an inch and a half off my waist, which is really good. Um, I don't have as much cravings anymore. I do still get them once in a while, but that's normal. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been a really good journey so far, and I plan on keeping up with it as much as I can. Uh, and I plan on bringing you guys along with me. Uh, so yeah, that is the end of the video. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys next week.